while attempting to figure out a video to make, I felt it for the first time in a long time. About a year and a half now. The feeling of burnout, of what it feels like to make a video and not, not feel the creative passion, not want to do it, seeing it as work. And it made me think, okay, this is the first time you felt this in a year and a half. Why are you starting to feel this? And I think I'm starting to feel like this mostly because Nerd Cave News to me is just like another step in the wrong direction, trying to put myself into too tight of a box to just pump out videos, have a consistent upload schedule, and need to just make a video and spit something out for the algorithm to like. When again and again and again, we are proven wrong that the algorithm will hate us if we disappear, or the algorithm will disown us if we don't produce another video at the same exact time slot that we've been trying to do it. I even have started doing it with shorts. I've started trying to figure out exactly when I should let my beautiful baby fucking shorts fly into the ether at 8 a.m. or at noon or at 2 in the afternoon. Like, I, I just, I'm overthinking it again. When I started making shorts and I just started kind of making videos because I felt like it. There have been multiple times where I said, I'm not going to make this video and it won't be relevant enough by the time that I'll actually want to make this video. I have literally stopped myself from talking about like the Atriox situation or talking about YouTube and its ever evolving content ID guidelines. And I stopped myself from making these videos, just like one header, like talking to camera videos because they weren't going to be on the right time slot. I was going to make them and it was going to upload them in a weird day in my schedule or it just didn't fit the narrative that I've been trying to fit Nerd Cave News into forever. And one, that's not fair to myself. Two, that's not fair to you guys because I haven't made a video for a month. Now my shorts are doing better and the channel has seen growth because shorts are just being hella optimized right now. And I haven't really missed live streams. I've missed like one or two, but that's because I've gone out of town. And if you're not a part of the Discord yet, you would have known that I was going to be gone. Um... I don't know. I just, I, I miss making talking head videos about the stuff that I actually care about. And I miss just talking about the stuff that I care about whenever I want. And so I think all this video is trying to say is if you're going to try and make YouTube sustainable, if you're going to try and make creativity, something that you actually want to care about, something that you actually want to do, don't give yourself a schedule because there will never be a moment if you're truly a creative, if you're truly, you know, trying to make stuff that you'll enjoy and trying to make this, what is a actual job? I mean, one thing that I didn't take seriously the first 12 times I did YouTube was analytics and reading them and trying to interpret them and utilizing a strategy to do content better. Because at the end of the day, no matter what content you make, there will be a space for your content everybody's like, oh my God, YouTube's oversaturated. There are too many people on the platform. Like you're never going to go viral, but it's just fucking wrong. You're incorrect. You will find an audience. The amount of channels that have a million subscribers or at least the bare minimum, a hundred thousand subscribers to make a career off this platform exist in the thousands and the hundreds of thousands. They exist. You can make whatever you want, however you want and succeed on this platform. It is knowing how to package that content to get it to succeed. It's not about the day that you post it. It's about how the audience sees it right when they get the video in front of them. And that's, and that's what matters. And I keep locking myself into this schedule idea and this belief system that videos are the thing. Like I'm going to continue to do shorts and I'm going to keep a live stream schedule because those things are important because shorts I can post every single day with little hesitation. But Live streams are one of those things where I can tell the community that I'm going to be here at this time so that we can interact with each other. And that is a good thing to have a schedule for it. Whereas posting a video just isn't. I feel like if you're going to make YouTube sustainable, you've got to do what you need to do to make the most creative thing possible, to make yourself happy, and then package it the right way to make your audience happy. And that takes time. And it's not always going to be at the perfect moment, at the ideal time, in the Eastern standard, whatever. But it gets done. And I think that's what's important.